Cameron's Overkill Pilsner. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. Right, now that we've got some of the Oktoberfest beers out of the way, I thought I really have to stop ignoring English brewers. And by chance, I was given a beer last night by someone. I was out with a mate, he'd come over from Slovenia. We ended up in London Bridge, in the beer keller, no less. There's a German, I don't know whether you're aware, but there's like a German pub chain German-themed pub chain, I should say, called Beer Keller. Now, I'm really wary about places like that because there's a beer keller near, uh, in Maidstone, in Kent, and they, I don't think they sell one German beer. They're, I mean, it's a fucking joke. But, went to this one in London, and what did they have? On fucking draft, they had Hackershaw Keller Beer and Hackershaw Munchener Gold. I tried both and they were absolutely sublime. But, and here's the fucking but, two, a Keller beer and a Munchen of Gold came to £14.10. Let that fucking sink in, £14.10 for two pints. Now, admittedly, they were, they were good pints of beer. In fact, top quality. In fact, the, the Keller beer was one of my favourites. I do hold it in very high esteem. I think it's it's just cemented that position as being my favourite Keller beer of all the Keller beers that I've tried, and there have been some good ones. Believe me, the St. Jorgen Roy has been outstanding, but for me, Hackershaw have just done it right. And of course, the Munchener Gold needs no introduction. I know that a few subscribers and a few viewers have tried that and absolutely loved it because it genuinely is a fantastic pint, but or 500 mil, I should say. But the... Uh, the price in London is an absolute fucking joke. Yes, I know that they've got overheads, but Jesus Christ, what about the working man? Come on, this is unsustainable. You can't keep fucking charging stupid prices like that. I mean, tourists might pay it, but fuck me. This country has got fuck all going for it. Let's try and make it fucking, oh, it is pointless. I just, I'm just losing the will to live when it comes to this fucking country sometimes and this government. Oh, let's just steer away from the politics because it fucking winds me up and sends the old blood pressure through the roof. Anyway, moving along swiftly. We ended up in my mate's bar. Now, I've known this girl for a long time. She's Sardinian and she used to work in a pub called the, in the Holloway Road called The Big Red and uh, she worked in the kitchen there and she was an absolutely fantastic chef. She, I, when I used to go there, I used to speak to her quite a lot and uh, she always said to me that I want to open up my own bar. She's actually done that now and it is this bar here, Helgi's. If you know London and if you know Hackney, Mayor Street in particular, get yourself down there. If you love your metal, your doom metal, black metal, that kind of thing, it is an absolute haven for that. And it has gone from strength to strength. And it's but the trend of all the pubs saying that they need to do food. They used to do food and it got them through the pandemic, but then they stopped it now. They just concentrate on beer, bands, and having a fucking good time. And I love the place. It's real spit in the sawdust, complete mix of crowd, hardly any trouble there at all. It's brilliant. The only trouble is for me, it's a little bit of a schlep, but I love going down there and I love seeing the people that go in there as well. They've got a venue out the back, and uh, yeah, it's good. But I was catching up last night, and uh, on the way out, um, she gave me uh, a can of beer for the way home, and it was the Overkill Pilsner. Now, I'd got it in my head that I'd already reviewed this on the channel, but apparently I haven't. I've done the, the Pale Ale, the, uh, the Motorhead um, Pale Ale, which is the um, Road Crew Pale Ale. I haven't done the Pilsner. Uh, the... The Road Crew, Pale Ale, was obviously named after the song We Are The Road Crew by Motorhead, and this song 
um, sorry, this beer is named after the song and the album Overkill, and that's the cover of the Overkill album. Now, if you've not heard that album, that's a great album. Not my favourite Motorhead album, but still a good one. And there are people that would argue that Overkill, the song, was the first thrash metal song. Was it? Who knows? I do know it was a fucking great song, and when I first heard it, it absolutely blew my fucking tits off. And I've been a Motorhead fan ever since, and they are one of my favourite bands, along with Black Sabbath and various other bands. But I digress. The album came out in 1979, and uh, yeah, it's it's just a brilliant album by a brilliant band. Sadly, Lemmy no longer with us. God bless him. But we uh, uh, we still listen to their music, and we enjoy it. I do hope. Anyway, that's the good part. Cameron's not a fucking great brewery in my opinion. Now, sad to say that the Pale Ale, the road crew, I wasn't that impressed with. And there's a pub not too far from me who actually sell road crew on uh, on keg. And I don't buy it. In fact, I was drinking road crew last night and I just remember thinking, to be fair, I did get a couple of pints free and I was, I was drinking it and thinking, this ain't a great beer. And uh, the the Overkill Pilsner, from my research, from reading it, I don't think it's gonna be a good one for a number of reasons. A, it's an English brewer, brewing a lager-esque type beer, supposedly a Pilsner, but I'll get onto that in, this, in the next section. Secondly, Cameron's, I don't think are that a good a brewer, as I said. I've had some of their other stuff as well, their normal sort of um, bitters and stuff like that. Really not impressed with that. Thirdly, I'm always, always wary of, and I will call, call this one, novelty beers. Now, there's a couple of beers out there, obviously the, the, the Road Crew one, you've got the Iron Maiden one, the Trooper Ale. I didn't think much of that, and I think, from what I can tell from brewers, they don't really pay much attention to the taste of the beer. It's all about the, the marketing, the band, the, the, the band brand as well. And I, th I really do think that the, the beer sort of takes a back seat, which is a real shame. When my band get famous, which it never fucking will, but if it did, and they wanted to do a signature beer, I'm sorry to say, well, I'm not actually, if I was gonna do a lager, it, I would, definitely go over to somewhere in Bavaria and ask them to do it. If I was gonna do a bitter or something like that, then I'd probably go, I don't know, somewhere like Fuller's, a quality brewer. Quality brewers will make you quality beer. Mediocre brewers will make you mediocre beer. Bad brewers will make you bad beer. I know that sounds so fucking obvious, but some people do have a little bit of trouble getting their heads around that. However, you have to remember, this is just my opinion. It's not stated in fact. I cannot apply a scientific method to it, but I don't really like Cameron's beer. And I don't have high hopes for this, but I will give it my best shot and I will give it my unbiased, honest opinion. If it's a good one, I'll let you know. Anyway, quick bit about the brewery. They've been going since 1865. And on research of the brewery, their history is so tumultuous with so many different takeovers being sold off, bought by various companies and then sold off a couple of years later. Um, I'll give you an example of how bad it was. Um, Castle Eden, do you remember them, that brewery? I've actually re re reviewed some of their beers on the channel and they were actually very good. I do recall a couple of the Castle Eden um, beers being really good. They bought this brewery, I think it was in 2009 or 2011, it was in around the early 2010s that, that time. And uh, the person who bought it, like they moved their location from where Castle Eden were based. They moved, actually moved it to Hartlepool, which is where Cameron's are from. And it, he said it was only then that they realized they bought a, a basically a dilapidated brewery that was falling down. So yeah, there you go. That's, that's the kind of checkered history it has. And it's got some more alarm bells. <laughs> it does contract brewing for Heineken and Heineken have a 24% stake in it. They are a silent partner, but they do a lot of contract brewing for Heineken. They also used to contract brew Cronenberg, Foster's, and John Smith. Now, you know, you can see where I'm going with this, can't you? So, it, on paper, this doesn't look fucking good. 
And I, I really want it to be good because I love Motorhead. They're one of my favourite bands, as I say. But personally, I think I am fighting a losing battle. But I am really hoping to be proven wrong. So, without further ado, let's get into this beer. Right, it's a 440ml can, right? And this is gonna set you back £3.15. And again, this comes back to my, my cynical view on marketing and them relying on Motorhead fans to buy the beer, to, for venues to buy the beer, you know, rock venues and stuff like that, and for people at festivals and stuff like that to buy the beer because it's supposedly a heavy metal beer or a rock beer. £3.15 for 440ml. Quite frankly, sir, you are taking the fucking piss. What about the working man? Anyway, it's 4.3%. Is that right? 4.3? I thought it was 4.7. Well, okay. Mm, 4.3 for a Pilsner. Well, it's a session. Definitely a session Pilsner, I will say that. Yeah, I thought it was 4.7. Maybe they've lowered the ABV to get the tax down. And it's still £3.15. Oh, this really isn't looking good, unfortunately. Oh, Christ. And it gets worse, in my opinion. Uh, the malt, uh, the, the malt that they use comes from Yorkshire and Scotland. Uh, they make no mention of what type of malt in there, but I imagine there's some kind of pale malt that they've put in there. The hops, now, they don't make mention of the hops apart from one, all right? And they say that this is a Pilsner. But if you look on the blurb on the website, it says it's a Czech style Pilsner. So immediately, me looking at that, I think, right, there's, they're gonna put some Sartz hops in there. No, they've put Styrian fucking wolf hops in there. Now, I don't know about you, but I do know my geography. S the Styrian region, or specifically when it comes to hops, Styrian Goldings, etc., and these Styrian wolf hops, they come from Slovenia. And <laughs> you don't have to fucking know geography to know that Slovenia is nowhere near the Czech Republic. So why have you put Styrian wolf hops in? More so, the characteristics of a, of a good Czech Pilsner are its bitterness from the Sartz hops that go in there. Now don't get me wrong, there are variations and derivatives from Sartz hops. However, these Styrian wolf hops that they put in, they've been a late addition that they put into the mix, or into the mix, into the into the boil, and their characteristics are fruity, floral, and tropical, which is not what a fucking Czech Pilsner is about. So Camerons, what the fuck are you talking about? You really have got this wrong. And it's not, I don't know. I mean, this is just basic. I'm not in the business of brewing beer, and I know this. It's just fucking basics. Which makes me believe that, well, I, I don't believe, I know that the marketing people have got much more sway over the beer that you drink than the brewers do. It's a fucking fact, and there is exhibit A, Your Honour. Oh, I didn't want this to be a rant. Motorhead are one of my favourite fucking bands. And look at me ranting and raving. This is what you've done, Camerons, you bastards. And I haven't even opened the beer. Maybe I should open the beer. It may placate me. So let's get it open and let's see what's fucking going on. Right. Let's get it into my, my motorhead glass. I couldn't have any other glass to drink it out of. It's got to be a motorhead glass. Now this is quite chilled. It's come out of the fridge. And there it is in ye ugly glass. Jesus, I you can tell I haven't used this glass in a long, long time. It is pretty fucking bad. I really do apologise for that. Um, colour. It's a golden amber type colour. Aroma. That doesn't smell nice. It smells... It smells like there's nasties in there. Certainly smells macro brewed. There's some hints of floral notes. And that's really about it. No malt in there to speak of on the aroma. And after reviewing them 
Oh, they're not good Oktoberfest beers. I'm giving this. Well, I got it for nothing, so I can't really complain, but you get the picture. Head is dissipating really quickly. That could be because of the glass, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bitch and moan about that. That's probably my own fault. Um, not looking promising. There it is in the glass. It's actually lighter than what you're seeing there. So yeah. Right. All that remains is to taste this. Bottoms up. Well, I'll tell you now, that is fuck all like a Czech Pilsner. Mouthfeel is abrasive. There really is a lot of carbonation in that. It's really abrasive. It reminds me of Erdinger, that kind of abrasive where it's, it's aggressive on the throat and that is not good. Um, let's dive in again. Fucking hell, that really is not a nice mouthfeel on that. That's really harsh and abrasive on the back of the throat. <clears throat> quite a dry finish on that and I'm wondering whether that's because I'm fucking dehydrated from being on the piss last night I got it at 2 o'clock I fucking walked home that was not pleasant up and ill I was fucking dying on my arse I'm so unfit it's not funny um, <laughs> that's, how, that's how interesting this beer is I'm talking about my fucking journey on the way home Christ There's hints of, what is it? It's like elderflower. That's with the, like the floral type flavor and aroma. There's no mango that um, Styrian wolf hops have. They have like tropical fruit type flavors. Not really getting that at all. The floral part, I am, but it, it doesn't even taste like a lager or a pilsner. Put it that way. It tastes like a, a badly brewed pale ale in fact i'm wondering whether this is fucking rebadged road crew because that tastes just as bad as well no road crew is a little bit a little bit different it's a bit more full-bodied and it's got a bit more of a, a bit more of a a bitterness to it like a, a grapefruit bitterness to it but I'm not enjoying it. And I think I've been spoiled because I've had so many good beers lately. The Oktoberfest pack, the Keller beer yesterday, the Munchner Gold, and then and then I get this. And quite frankly, it's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment to the band and it's an embarrassment to British lager brewing, which to be fair, in my opinion, is a bit of an embarrassment anyway. We just can't do it. We really can't. Some people have said to me I should try that Hawk's Head lager, you know, Jeremy Clarkson. I'm going to try that because people are ranting, ranting and raving how good that is. I'm going to wait and see. But this. It's just not nice. It's got a very, very aggressive mouthfeel. Really harsh on the back of the throat. That kills, in my opinion, some of the flavour. It's got this really dominating flowery type taste which you get in certain kinds of cheap cheaply brewed craft beers um, there's a, an astringency on the end of it as well which you do get with a, a pilsner but this is nothing like a czech pilsner at all i, I can't it, my, it fucking boggles my mind how they've said that this is influenced by a Czech Pilsner. It's nothing of the salt, and you should be fucking ashamed of yourself for even 
calling yourselves a brewer and attempting to know what a Czech Pilsner tastes like. If you want to taste a Czech Pilsner, don't fucking try this because it tastes nothing like this. Believe me. They haven't even put Sart tops in here. Just, just not enjoyable. Now, I'm going to leave it there because the two dominant flavours on that are the big, big, flowery, elderflower type flavours and the bitterness on the end, which is leaving my mouth quite dry. So I wouldn't even say it's refreshing. So, yeah, not a fucking good job there, Cameron. So what is the verdict on Cameron's Overkill Pilsner? It just isn't good. But what did I expect from an English brewer brewing bottom fermented beer? I just can't do it. Pilsners, lagers, helices. Sorry, it's just it just doesn't compare to the German stuff. That is what you need to be aiming for. Otherwise, you're just a poor imitation and quite frankly you, you you don't care that's that's the only thing i can think well to be honest if you contract brewing fosters john smith's and cronenberg you don't care about the taste of the beer obviously you care about the money you're getting for it they're popular beers popularity isn't always an indicator of something that's good at the end of the day for fuck's sake boyzone were fucking popular and yeah we know how fucking shit they are Oh, this is this is a right downer. This is three pound fifteen as well for four forty mil of that. You, you. Oh, um, I like the band. The band, well, they're one of my favourite bands, and it boils my fucking piss that they've got beer as bad as this representing them as well. I wonder did the band try it, mind you, fucking the way Levy was. <laughs> he probably out of his nut when he tried it. He went, yeah, that'll do. He'd drink anything. I remember pictures of old pictures of Lemmy from 79 drinking cans of special brew. And I thought, even at the time, I remember this was in the 80s when I saw it. I thought, oh, yeah, he's just doing that for the photos. But apparently not. He used to drink special brew all day long. And that's when it was fucking 10%. He must have been fucking roaring drunk by the end of it. No wonder he died when he was 70. Um, this beer, quite frankly... Is dog shit. I really don't like it. It pains me that my favourite band, or this this beer, has been put with my favourite band because the quality of the beer doesn't represent the quality of the band. And I really am sorry to say this, but I really am contemplating pouring that down the sink because, quite frankly, I am not enjoying that beer. For the band, I'll give you 10 out of 10 all day long. And if I could give it 11, I would give it 11. For the beer, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a one out of 10. It's that bad. And I think I've been spoiled because I've been drinking the Bavarian Oktoberfest beer. And there were some, I know it's Merzen style, but there were beers in there that were reminiscent of a Hellas. And even, I mean, there was one uh, what was it, the, 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 the most recent one? I've still got the box, I haven't slung it yet, so that's not a bad thing. Uh, which one was it? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, the Bischofshof original Fest beer. That did taste relatively like a Hellas. It was very bland. Um, it didn't have much in the way of flavour. But do you know what? I would rather drink that than beer with bad flavour. Because... What it lacked in flavour, it made up for in mouthfeel, made up for in body, and it made up for in drinkability and refreshment. This doesn't do that. It's got a nasty mouthfeel. It's got a really not nice flavour, way too flowery for my liking. On a, on a fucking Pilsner. I, I, it just blows my fucking mind that they even thought about calling it a Pilsner and even saying that it's based on a Czech Pilsner. Czech Pilsners taste fuck all like that oh why am i ranting on a fucking on a motorhead 
review. Because that's how bad it is. This is what happens when you get fucking two bob breweries like cameras. No wonder they've been passed from pillar to post. People have bought them and said, fuck this, this is, this is dog shit. Well, there's your mark. It's And £3.15 as well. No, fuck it, you're getting one out of 10. And why I'm giving it one out of 10, I don't know. Maybe just because I like the can. That's, that's where it is. The fucking price, the quantity, the quality of the beer is all taking the fucking piss basically and you're relying on mugs who no i won't say i won't call you mugs that's not fair because there are genuine moat red fans who would buy that and think they're you know supporting the band or they just want to be seen with that brand but it's not right and in fact the more i think about it the more i'm going to throw that down the sink i just really am not impressed with that so there you go and remember i'm drinking this shit so you don't have to.